crumbly bits everywhere now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I had this idea really late one night about 2am and I had to wait, I had to force myself to wait until the next evening to do it. So here we are, this is the video. I hope you enjoy it. I hope that somebody enjoys it and they think, I'm going to do this as well. I'll, I'll try a different colour, something like that. Please do, please try it on whatever moulds that you want because I love this effect. I think it turned out so awesome. Okay, so I doubt I'm the first to do this, but let me walk you through it because you might not have seen it. I'm going to call this the drip effect. I have no doubt that this has probably been used for something else. So if you think it should be called something else, let me know in the comments below. But basically what I had in mind was to put in some paint into this mold and let it drip along the edges down the sides. Now the paint I'm using is black gesso, uh, gesso, it's called gesso, isn't it? Gesso primer, which is quite thick. And originally I wanted this because I didn't want it to just run uncontrollably. But this is a little bit of a downside because it was too thick to move anywhere. And then as you can see, when I tried adding water, it was too thin to actually leave a mark. <laughs> So what I suggest if you do want to try this is mix your paint up in another container off the side and then just get the consistency right that way and then put it into your moulds. It'll probably save you a bit of hassle like all the faff that I'm going through here just to try and mix it within the mould which isn't really ideal. Once I found that consistency where it would leave a good trail behind and the silicone mould wouldn't disperse it because you do have to be careful with paint. It, does kind of uh, obliterate your paint marks a bit. Certain moulds do anyway. Test your mould. And I pretty much had to guide the lines with a pipette, so I was creating my own kind of splatter effect, which was kind of nice. I like that control. But it wasn't quite as spontaneous as I first hoped, <laughs> as I first imagined. But also because I was using it this way now, with guiding with the pipette, I didn't have to water it down. I just sucked it straight out of the paint tub. And if you want to try this technique, you don't have to use the paint that I'm using. It's gesso, gesso, <laughs> gesso primer. It's a bit thicker than normal paint. So you probably do well off with normal paint, which I will be trying another experiment with it later on. But do let me know if you decide to try it. I'd love to see. You know what? Knowing when to stop is quite difficult because you can just keep going and going. And then before you know it, you've painted your entire mould. <laughs> Luckily I did look, um, I did step back and think that's enough now. Enough with the rivets and the uh, drip marks. Once I was happy with what it looked like I left it on my heat mat for several, uh, I, I leave it on for at most three hours. So I left it on for three hours and then it dried the rest overnight. And then the next morning I couldn't wait to get it uh, get the resin mixed up and mixed in with white because I really wanted white. But then you remember that then you've still got loads of waiting left to do. Half of these projects are just waiting games. It's, oh, I really wish that they were just 20 minutes like Jesmonite and things like that. Although I am going to sneakily put this in here. I did try the four hour demold by J Diction. There is a card coming up on screen right here where I did a review the results were not what I expected. Uh, everybody seems to have had a better experience than I did. So check that out if you're interested. So here I am using J Diction High Gloss Epoxy Resin for this experiment. This was a Christmas gift because I ran out of my usual Let's Resin Epoxy. And honestly, having big massive tubs like this, it feels so freeing. I can actually use my big moulds because I only ever can afford the little the little bottles so it's it's honestly amazing having these big bottles it's probably not nothing new to everybody else but for me I've never had these big bottles before and J Diction resin was the first resin I ever tried so I've always been impressed with it I've used it on and off the only one I wasn't impressed with was the aforementioned 4D four 4D four hour D mode what is words what are words <laughs> so I just double check make sure my paint is completely dry it's been drying for overnight many hours now so it should be completely bone dry. I'm using this white pigment dye. I haven't actually used this one yet. Um, white isn't really a colour that I use very often unless it goes with black and this is the first black and white project I've done so far. <laughs> I did get it from Timu. I bet people hate me hate hearing me say this by now but it was only a small bottle and I just wanted to try this pigment out. I will link everything in the description below. Have a look there if you're interested in anything in this video.
And while I'm on that topic, hit that like button if you're enjoying this video. It really helps out small channels like me. And if you want to ever hear more of my fantastic ASMR, R, ASM, oh, I never get it right, ASMR voice. <laughs> if you ever want to hear me botch some words up, consider subscribing. <laughs> I welcome any suggestions, critique or anything that might help my channel, even if that means going back to captions only. <laughs> I finally get to the pouring part and I do it very slowly. For some reason, I'm par I am paranoid that as soon as I drop that white in, there's going to be a swirl of black where the um, uncured, not uncured, where the undried, what word am I looking for? Where the still wet paint, <laughs> where the still wet paint is just come into contact with the resin and just bleh. Oh, and I know from experience that this mould does like to hide the occasional air bubble in the cheekbone socket. So I took a little silicone tool, tool, sounded a bit posh there, a little silicone, silicone tool. I should not do these things unscripted anymore. <laughs> Comment below if you think I should do a script for these things instead of waffling on. So I tried to, to um, jab the little silicone tool into the little um, cheat sockets. I'm really careful not to dislodge the paint lines because that would be really disappointing if I filled it up with resin and half of them have disappeared. So before I fill it completely up I'll give it a few more taps just to uh, help dislodge any hidden bubbles there and then give it a few tippy taps. Who is it that says tippy taps? Is it Steve? Steve McDonald? I'm so sorry. I've I've watched that many crafters and you should know by now my memory is not great. So I do apologize if that seems quite insulting, but I can't remember which YouTube goes tippy taps. Let me know. And because I added more resin than I needed for the school mold, I always do a little bit extra just in case. I'm using this uh, trinket tray again for some more marbling effects. Let's sit there. Let's see if I can get that marbling effect that I didn't get in my previous video. The one that I'm going to link in a card up here, which was the new tray mould. Check it out. Oh, and by the way, I am recording this voiceover at the time of my um, that video's post, so it's only just gone live. I just, eh, I just did notice that somebody commented and suggested some different uh, techniques to get that marbling effect. So I will definitely be trying that, but I do apologise. I. This video was recorded before I saw your message, so don't think that I ignored that or anything. Oh, and one other thing. I didn't film it, but I did another tray mould just after this, so stay till the end. Morning, everyone. It's the next day. We've got some miserable weather, so the daylight isn't great. But we're cured, so let's take this out and have a look. I was very tempted to do it last night try and film it in the lamplight but I thought I'll wait I'll be patient for once right I'm trying not to look at it I'll put that off screen just while I do that ta-da oh, I love that yeah that's so cool I am the kind of weirdo that loves weird things like that the, the drip effect especially I really love drip effect and it came out really well. I'm really pleased with that. Hmm, that one's got a, a little dint in its head. It must be, must be like that then, and I never noticed. That looks really cool. I am really pleased. Finally a win. All these experiments that I do, some of them, most of them don't work out. <laughs> That's why we do them though, but it is nice when you unveil something, unveil, when you demold something and it looks how you expect it or better than you expect it. So this is one of those for me. What do you think? Do you like it? Will you try it? I think some, some different colours would be awesome, wouldn't it? If I was to do another one, what colours do you think I should use? Oh, that, that's a bit soft there. That still feels like... The resin didn't didn't fill that bit up. I'm gonna have to get some UV some UV resin on that bit in there. 
I don't know whether I want to sell this guy or keep him for myself. So I've got different colours of paint, which I will use for the the, split, the uh, drip effect. I'm limited to um, to the pigments that I've got though. So let me know what colour combos you think I should try next because I really like this. It's different, isn't it? I haven't seen this before. doesn't mean that it's not out there. Obviously, if you've done this before, please show me. Obviously, I love to see um creations that you guys make I needed to fill that in a little bit more but it's the bottom so nobody cares oh, i'm very happy with that yeah hey i win and the other one that i did with the with the excess was this little trinket tray i like this little trinket tray it's cute it's really small and just right, I use one for my, um, that side for my earrings and I don't wear any other jewellery except earrings, so put that there. Right, reveal. Ooh. Oh, I really like that. Yes, finally. That's a better marbling effect than, uh, I'm going to say my previous video because hopefully I'll upload it before this i think i am doing yes i will upload it before this one and i try a marbling effect with gold and black and it didn't come out quite marbly but it did come out really nice this is the effect that i wanted this kind of marbling effect and that looks so much better i really like that yeah i would love to try that again and there's a tiny little bubble there a tiny little bubble there i try and get rid of them i sprayed the mold with isopropyl alcohol and then left it on the heat mat for three hours but it did not get rid of those tiny little bubbles i usually um when i put the resin in i squeeze squeeze the edge there and then fill it back up but because of the marbling effect i didn't know whether that would ruin any effect that i already had in there when i put the first lot in so i didn't do that but they're, they're, they're barely noticeable, and to be honest, I am still really thrilled with that. So, what do you guys think? Do you like the black and white marbling effect? Obviously, I'm not the first to use that, but this is my first marbling, true marbling effect that I managed to get, and I am really happy. One step in my resin adventures complete, so, yes. Let me know what colour you think this guy should be next. What colour should that be? What colour should the main body be? And I am definitely going to try some more marbling effects with that. Probably with the leftover of the next experiment with him. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. That really helps my channel out. I am trying to revive my poor channel. And um, I am very, very small on YouTube. So any likes will help. Comment on this guy and what you think I should uh, do next. And if you'd like to see more like this, please hit that subscribe button. That tells me that you liked this video, you liked what I'm doing, and I can try and do more to bring you more interesting content. And please check out my next video, which I will be posting at the end of this one. I will put a link to the giveaway. Don't forget, join the giveaway. It's for my belated 1000 subscribers. And if you want to support my tiny little channel, there is a link in the description below to a Kofi link. Do you call it Kofi or Coffee? I, I think it looks more like Kofi, which is a donation um, website. I would be immensely grateful for that. Uh, anything um, would go back into the channel. Also, everything I've used will be in the description below as well. Do check that out. I've got links to the music I use, I've got links to the resin I use and the moulds um, and the, the black paint that I've used in case you need any of that. So have a great week guys, I will see you when I next see you, bye! Yeah. I did another one of these, I'm gonna demould it on the end of this video so 
stay around just a few minutes longer because this is a new mold that I posted in my last video and I really loved it. I love how it looks so I tried black and red so let's see how it looks okay put that aside oh, wait no that way there we go right there we go oh wow oh look at that oh that's beautiful and that red i wish it was more vivid the, the red i've got is is um i don't know it's almost like a corally pinky red but i do wish i do wish it was a bit more vivid but that looks beautiful in there i'm not complaining at all that suits just right oh i might have to do another one in fact i might have to do one in this little trinket tray oh what do you think wow that looks awesome all right thank you for sticking around for the little extra credit at the end <laughs> i will link to the first video of this in the end credits so thank you guys for watching bye